case Lucky Coin Variety um, is about an immigrant family who comes to Toronto in the mid-70s. After years of struggling, they finally have enough money to open a variety store of their own. And certainly the variety store is set on Queen West near Bellwoods Trinity Parks. The family lives above the store, works in the store, and their entire lives evolve around this store that's actually inspired by the store I grew up in. My protagonist, Mary, is at the time of the book 15 years old, and she's really a composite of all the different Korean Canadian young women, young girls I knew of growing up and some of the things that we struggled with, our parents' expectations, falling in love, trying to find our own identities. I think readers can connect with um, many of the themes in the story, what it means to search for your place in society, what it means to feel conflicted, and really just try to navigate your way through uh, young adulthood. I've been in Toronto for more than 40 years and I've been lucky in that I got to live in different pocket communities within Toronto. Mary, my main character, moves uh, quite fluidly throughout Toronto. She takes uh, music lessons at the Royal Conservatory. She hangs out at Mr. Green Jeans and the movie theaters at the Eaton Center. She goes to karaoke bars on uh, Koreatown on, on Bloor. Part of the reason I wrote the book was I really wanted to capture what it was like for the shopkeepers, for the families, the immigrant families during that time period. And I was thinking that unless we wrote these stories down, they would be lost. People like my daughter and her generation would never ever know the sacrifices that her grandparents, her parents made and how we contributed to Toronto's history and to Canada's history. Toronto Book Awards are very important it gets people talking and also it allows readers to look through Toronto through a different set of eyes. So any chance for us to celebrate great literature uh, set in this incredible city, just to get people talking, I think is amazing.